In this video, we're going to explore some of the basic operations of the TI Inspire CX calculator. First, as you look on this, this is the home screen and can be accessed by pressing the home button highlighted in red here on the left. Inside the home screen, you'll notice this area called the scratch pad. You can also access the scratch pad by pressing this calculator button here that's on the left of the calculator. As you keep pressing that, it will cycle between the graph scratch and the calculator scratch. Going back to the home screen, I now want to bring our attention to setting number five, uh, settings. As you hit that, you'll see a menu pop up. This is going to tell you how to change some of the default settings of the calculator. We won't necessarily want to change the language, but we may want to change some of the document settings. As we go in the document settings, you'll see display digits. This should be set to float uh, because we want to have it variable how many we have. You can change the angle from radians to degrees, um, but as we scroll down, these are the default settings, and this is what we want the calculator to be in. If anything has changed, please restore it to this, and then click on Make Default, or tab down, and then press OK. This will make sure that any open document and new documents in the scratch pad will have this as its default settings. So again, that is setting 5, number 2. Another one you can go into is the handheld setup. And you can look at some of these options, um, specifically the font size. Uh, I have it, typically have it set to medium. And the enable tapping to click makes the mouse act kind of like the mouse on a laptop, where if you tap it, it will actually click. Uh, 